This is a short tutorial on how to use Open Broadcaster software, which is a free recording program, you know, usually used for like live streaming, but hey, uh, you can actually use it to record videos, really small sizes of the videos, really good quality. So first you want to go to Open Broadcaster software in Google, hopefully it's on the first link, why wouldn't it be the first link? So let's go to the first link, voila, if we're here, click the big green download button, because everyone should pick, click, you know, big green download buttons, but this one's actually, you know, the one you want to download. So five seconds after you click it, it should pop up with the download, and voila, we're just going to download it somewhere, and then we wait for the download to finish, and don't laugh at my internet speed because it's really slow. And now the download's done, so what you're going to do is we're going to run the download, so you just double click it and type in whatever password you need if you're in a you know, not an admin. So once you do that, then you just hit next, install, etc. It does something really quick, and you're just like, yeah, you're good to go, and you're like, great, I'm going to click finish now. You click finish, and poof, it opens up, and you're like, okay, sure, why not update whatever it is you're updating, because, you know, updates are good, so let's launch it back again. And there we go. So I already have a scene in there, but what we need to do first is mess around with the settings. At the top left of your screen, click on settings, click on settings again, and voila, general, who cares about general, let's go to video, video, well, we want quality balance at 10, it already is at 10, but it's usually standard at 9, 5,000 kilobytes per second's fine, let's do 10,000 kilobytes per second because it's just awesome like that. The defaults on the audio tab are pretty much just what you need, except for 320 bitrate instead of 192 if you want better quality. Alright, on the next tab, make sure at the very top of the next tab that you change it to file output only. That's the way you're not like live streaming, you're actually recording something. And then you can choose where to record your videos to and what buttons to start and stop the recording. Mine are F5 to start and F6 to stop. That's good with this tab. Okay, we're good. On this screen, you get to choose which of your video devices you want to use as recording, and to make sure that your resolution is set to your resolution of your monitor. And if you want to record at something less, I would recommend that you downscale it using this, where it has like a 1.5 downscale. So I'm actually playing at 1080p, and then I'm recording at 720p. That gives me better legibility, but I take a slight performance hit. I mean, really, to me, it's like one frame per second, if anything at all. The only other noteworthy thing on this tab is the frames per second set it to 30. 30 is default like everywhere, so call it 30, call it good. Next tab, audio. Pretty much all the defaults are spot on perfect, except for the push to talk key. If you want to record yourself with an open microphone, leave it off. If you want to record yourself with a button, turn it on and press the button whenever you want to record yourself through the microphone. And if you don't want to record yourself at all, or if you don't have a microphone, enable it and never press the button. Okay, we're good with that. The other two tabs are fun, they have a lot of technical stuff, you can use them if you have any issues, but that's really not necessary for like the basic uh, tutorial I'm doing here. So hey, we're pretty much good, let's just, you know, hit OK, get out of this, and now we can actually set up how to record something. So first of all, go over here to where it says Scenes, right click, and left click Add Scene, name it whatever you want, I'll just use Example because it's Example, and on the right, under Sources, right click, Add and Source, and we want to go down to the Game Capture, so you left click Game Capture, call it Game Capture, I'm just going to call it Example Game Capture because, you know, who, why not, and it comes up with this window, that doesn't really help us right now because I don't have, I'm not running any games, so let's just go and run a game, and then I'll be able to show you exactly what's going to happen. So I decided to launch Team Fortress 2 because, hey, why not? So Team Fortress 2 will be launched, and Team Fortress 2 is launching, and I could totally speed this up, but I don't really feel motivated to. Anyway, now that we have a game launching, we'll go back to Open Broadcaster Software and go to the source that we added, go to Properties on it after right-clicking, and we can go and change it to uh, actually capture Team Fortress 2. And now if I hit F5, a little miniature screen pops up and I'm, I'm actually recording. This in, o in open broadcast software is what I'm recording right now. So if I just go here and mess around some, we'll see exactly what's going to happen. There we go. So now whenever I press F6, then I will stop recording just like that. And now I can go to wherever I had the... Uh, you know, the video was stored in, and here's my video. It's at 720p instead of 1080p, because that's what I told it to, you know, record at, and it recorded exactly what I did. Here's me messing around, and voila, it's perfect. Uh, usually you won't have to, like, change the uh, source every time you start up a game. I've been having some issues recently, but that might just be Serious Sam. 
And one thing to note is that this 13 second clip only took up uh, less than one megabyte of my hard drive, which is really quite awesome. So hey, it's really good in the space category. And like I said before, usually you won't have to keep going into the uh, game source uh, and change it to record whatever you're playing. But if you ever have any issues, just go back to its properties when you're running a game and hit refresh as long as you know the game is selected at the top. I'm not running any games, so you can't really show this right now. Regardless, if you have you know some issues, maybe you can just contact me and I'll see if I can help you.